M0 FXB, welcome to my videos on Ham Shack Hotline. So, what we did initially in the past was we went to the HH OPS Center help desk here and we we created an account. So we went to sign in here, created an account, and once we got an account, we were able to log in. As you can see, log in, we're logged in, and then we opened a ticket. So, open a new ticket. I'm not going to open a ticket now. When we opened that ticket, we went down, and I'm in the EU, so I went down to New Line EU. So let's find that. Should be here. EU soft phone, EU. Where's it gone? Issue was new. There it is there. Europe New Line. Now, if you're in America, that's different. We filled this section out. Call sign. Uh, location, phone model, MAC address, very important. MAC address you can find usually on the back of the phone, but you could go into settings and find it there. Okay, and once we got to that point and we clicked submit and we had a message back straight away uh, which told us uh, about the status uh, of our ticket that we had ap applied for. So after not, not even a day, we had an email. Now, on this email, which is here, uh, we've read it through, it says, welcome, I've now got a number, this is, if anyone wants to phone me, this is my number, four two, there's a lot of noughts there. Um, and it says here, provisioning document. You may now go ahead and follow the steps in the provisioning document. So, um, and then interestingly, it's got some other information there. You can use the HTTP script below in your browser. So let's go to what they call the provisioning document. So I click that and we got to this page here. And if I go back one, it when you get to the provision document, provision guides, I searched out the radio I've got. Now, obviously, if you've got a different radio than listed here, then you're going to seek need to seek some help. But the hot ham shack hotline team have got these models here so i've just got the one which is the spa 525 nice color screen wi-fi bluetooth and what it basically says is copy here copy and paste this here um, and then add the ip address of your radio now you you're going to need to connect your radio and power your radio um, so I'm going to connect mine via Wi-Fi. I'm going to use the settings in my radio. Now, this I haven't got the radio yet. Or, well, I shouldn't call it a radio. It's a phone. I haven't got the phone yet, the IP phone. When I do, I'll, I'll do a further video. But I'm keeping you up to date with where I am with this at the moment. So I've got to copy and paste this. Now, when you connect the radio to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, you'll be able to find it. It will show up on your in your list of broadband it items. So, for example, if I go to my broadband here which is this one now you can use another IP scanner uh, to find your devices you can use FING on your mobile phone so if I log in here it's going to show devices and then hopefully when I've got the phone one of these devices on the same network as this will be here and I'll get an IP I will get an IP address once I've got that IP address then we'll follow the instructions so what they're saying is copy this here and then paste it go plus now there are there is a step where you might have to make some changes in your router settings but i i, I won't know that until i've tried i've got a vodafone uh, broadband router here in the uk so we're going to copy and paste this and see where it says xxx here we're going to put our ip address there so we're not going to submit this now because we're just showing you what i've learned so far so we're going to paste so we've pasted it there and what you would do is in here so it says the server can't be reached, and I'm glad, you know, I don't want it to be reached. But let's just say, and that's because it's got the wrong IP number, but let's just say the IP address was 192.168.0.1. And then, and then you would enter it. Now, hopefully nothing will happen because it's the wrong IP address. Then what happens is when you enter that, and the rate, you know, your phone is turned on, your phone will then reboot. Now you have to wait for it to reboot correctly. And when it comes back to life, if you watch this video here by um, K0LWC, 
I'll show you what happens in his video. And about five to ten seconds later, you'll see your phone begin to reboot. And that means that it has successfully communicated with the Hamshack hotline server and things are beginning to move. Now, it'll take probably about 30 to 45 seconds to reboot. Uh, once this is booted up and you actually have the screen, you can see that you have the Hamshack hotline logo and you see your call sign on top. That means everything was successful. So th there you go. I don't want to pinch his video. But I'm going to be doing, obviously, my own video um, when I've got the radio, uh, the phone, when it comes tomorrow. Uh, hotline extension, which is there you go. So when it reboots, you, come, you end up, you, you saw that sort of there, what it was saying, is it connection, something connection is okay. And then eventually you get this window of Hamshack hotline. And then you can start, we will start learning then how to use shortcuts, how to dial different, is it rooms, nodes, RF links, individual users. Um, so this is where we are so far. As soon as I get the equipment, I will be doing this. And let's just look back at the Hamshack site here. Go to the home page. So this is where we're coming from. I know I've done several videos on this so far as I learn, uh, as I always do with my channel. So thanks for watching so far. Fingers crossed we'll all be chatting to each other soon via our ha hotlines. So we'll be the, the ham radio hotline group of, I don't know, communication enthusiasts. So please like and subscribe my channel and catch you on air. 7-3, all the best. Or catch you on the phone.